Just wanted to give a quick heads up. If you happen to have an Umu DG A3 phone, I got this on Amazon uh, on Prime Day for $63.99. It's normally $79.99. I went and got a SIM card for this phone yesterday at my local AT&T store. I had them activate it. While I was at the store, I uh, did a test call to it and it worked. And I'm like, okay, good. I guess everything's working. But when I got home, I noticed two things. First of all, it would not give me a uh, connection better than 3G. Second of all, my cellular data did not work. I could not do anything uh, on the internet when I was just on cellular, only on Wi-Fi. So I was looking online for resources and, and answers and didn't really find a solution, so I decided to get on a chat with AT&T Wireless. And he had me do a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, you know, Take the SIM card out, change this setting, change that setting, restart the phone, wipe out your network, uh, configuration, all kinds of stuff. None of it worked. Every time the phone would come back up, it would only be in 3G mode and cellular data would not work. So we eventually figured out what the issue was. So what I had to do, let's see if I can walk through these screens here. Okay, as you can see, I have cellular, cellular data right now. The setting that I changed, settings, uh, network and internet, advanced, no, I'm sorry, mobile network, advanced. Down here at the very bottom, there's an access point names setting. My phone, uh, by default, was set to the AT&T setting, uh, WAP.singular. That was selected. When I changed it to AT&T Next Gen Phone and selected that and saved it, Bang, everything started to work. As you can see right there, look, I got a 4G signal. I generally get terrible signal inside the house here, so it's very low. It's very normal for me to have low signal strength in here, so um, ignore that. But as you can see, I do actually have 4G service now, which I did not have before, and I do have uh, cellular data access. So if you have an Umu DG A3 and you're trying to connect it to the AT&T network, you need to make sure that that AT&T Next Gen phone is enabled under your APN settings. Just wanted to save someone the hassle. I probably spent a couple hours trying to figure this out, so uh, save you some hassle. That's all I have for you for now. Till next time, definitely out.